with the session already loaded up, let's take some time to talk about and discuss basic editing techniques within Pro Tools. We'll cover each of the many editing tools available within Pro Tools and later put many to use when we edit and mix a picture later in the series. Let's begin by bringing our attention to the toolbar window. The toolbar houses our variety of editing modes, zoom controls, editing tools, our main counter, grid and nudge values, as well as straightforward playback controls and MIDI and synchronization controls. Within our toolbar window, we have the option to display minimal displays as well as the option to display all controls. To enable or disable our various displays within our toolbar, just right click within an empty portion of the toolbar and a hidden drop down menu will display. You'll also notice the down pointing triangle to the far right of our toolbar. Click that and the same drop down menu will appear. We can select minimal or all or just add the additional display we desire. Personally, I just like to add my zoom and transport control displays. Since I'm not working with MIDI right now, I won't activate that display. You also have the option to display an additional transport display that is its own separate movable window. I'll show you that option at a later point. Let me explain in more detail the editing mode options. Pro Tools provides four edit modes, shuffle, slip, spot, and grid modes. The edit modes affect the movement and placement of audio and MIDI clips. Each edit mode is useful for different purposes when editing within your sessions. Shuffle mode allows you to do precisely as its name implies. The ability to shuffle the order of clips without adding space between them or having them overlap. Shuffle mode is often used most when working on a musical composition. You'll find it very useful to literally shuffle segments in your composition around to try out various musical placement options. Slip mode allows you to place a clip anywhere on a track without affecting the placement of other clips. You can leave space in between clips or overlap clips. Slip mode offers you the most editing freedom. Slip mode is most often used in sound for picture applications where you aren't working with tempo. Spot mode allows you to specify exact locations using numerical values when moving or placing clips. This editing mode is very useful when you need to move parts of your session to known destinations. This mode is used more often in relation to music. Grid mode allows you to snap clips and MIDI notes to the nearest time increment on a grid. Grid mode is a great way to align parts of your session to defined timing intervals. Again, another great useful editing mode used in music, but can be equally beneficial for sound for picture applications, where you might want to keep certain elements aligned more evenly to keep a consistent feeling or pace within a story. I often use grid mode when creating a rhythmic glitching type effect by cutting up pieces of organically recorded material or when wanting multiple elements to fade down at precisely the same time. To access the various grid modes, you can either select them directly via the toolbar window or by pressing the tilde button. Using this shortcut, you can toggle through the four different edit modes. For even more precise access, you can use your function keys, F1 for shuffle, F2 for slip, F3 for spot, and F4 for grid. 